fantastic choir. secretary in the, in the office. And she said, absolutely not. I don't want to lose her. She's outstanding and this and that. Very mad at me. And I said, well, you know what? We're going to do it anyway. <laughs> and that was one of the best decisions. she is to the school and uh, for a young principal with Mrs. Bradford, Mrs. Walters, Mrs. Bell in our office really leading things. Um, they just did so much for me um, and I attribute a lot of the success that I've had professionally to them and the staff here. So what I appreciate about Mrs. Bradford, is she really walks her faith in everything that she does here at work. And I think we see that in the daily interactions that she has with not only us, the adults, but the students and the people out 
people coming from the public. So, Mrs. Bradford, thank you very much for everything that you've done for me and our school corporation. Sunshine. 
keep up the great food. Secretary Sam always has a smile on her face and is kind and willing to help.
Deputy Secretary at Mentone a few years back, um, I was so thankful for Mrs. Bradford. Samantha and I have known each other for quite a few years because you saw her son James on the screen talking to her. Her son James and my son Rostin, who used to teach here, were best friends. And so she was like a mom to my boy and I was like a mom to her James. So we've known each other a long time. A long time. Um, Samantha is a wonderful person and you guys are so blessed to have her in your building. And Mr. Conley was really smart when he hired her for your secretary. Because when I became secretary, she was like my right hand girl. Anytime I had trouble on a state report, which you guys know nothing about, but Mrs. Bradford and I know about them, they're kind of hard. And she was a great help to me. And uh, I just always appreciated her kindness, her thoughtfulness, her friendship over the years. She's a great woman, and be thankful that you have her. Congratulations. everybody. My name is Brett Boggs and I was the principal here before Mr. Conley and before um, Mrs. Mills. So I'm an old guy officially. But uh, thanks for having me this afternoon. Samantha, I'm trying to remember, when did you start working here? Okay, about 1992. That's a long time ago before any of you guys, kids, were born. And uh, I wish that I could uh, say that I hired Mrs. Bradford, but I don't think I did. I think Dr. Kramer probably hired you. Did he? 
I hired her. Okay. Well, the memory, the memory is the first thing to go, guys. Remember? <laughs> All right. Well, you know, I just was thinking, what am I going to say today about Mrs. Bradford? I've known her for a long time. Do you kids realize how blessed you are? Have her, how fortunate you are to have her in your office every day carrying her on a chew. She's the face of Akron Elementary School. There's a lot of staff people here, but who's the first person they see when they come in? Who do they talk to when they pick up the phone and call? They talk to Mrs. Bradford. Her position, her, every position here is important for all of the adults, but her position is Key position. The secretary of the school is very important, and it's a very, very hard job. We're trying to keep Mrs. Mills happy, We're trying to keep Mr. Brownley happy, We're trying to keep all the teachers and instructional assistants and custodians, everybody that works here, trying to keep them happy. And then parents and grandparents. She's dealing with a lot of people, and she's doing lots of different things all at once. That's a hard, hard job. I've, I've seen secretaries over the years, and it's a very difficult job. And Mrs. Bradford does it very well. But you know, she's nice, isn't she? She always greets you with a smile. Even if she's having a bad day, or maybe things aren't going well for her, she always smiles. She always probably calls you by name. She's kind and polite and patient. She's just a very, very helpful person, and I adore her very much. She's exactly the kind of person that you want as your school secretary at Akron. So you're blessed and you're fortunate to have Mrs. Bradford, so congratulations. And I've heard this mentioned before today, too, but I really appreciate it. She has Jesus in her heart.
and I have, I know there's time I can be a grumpy grump, but we all have our days, and I'm not perfect, so we all have to remember that. But I do, I love working here, and I love being the secretary, and I would, I would not want another job anywhere else, and I appreciate this, I did not expect it, in fact, I hope this isn't sound, but I feel very unworthy, but I am so thankful, thank you guys for honoring me today, and I, I love you all, and I hope you all have an awesome summer. Woo!